Today I am putting together a bookshelf. This is uh, something that's taken me two days and this video is going to cover from beginning to end. If I can put the shelf together, so can you. So stay tuned. It is from Ikea. It's called Lavia, L-A-I-V-A. It is a five shelf case and with this one I am trying to make sure that the shelves are a little bit stronger than they would normally be so I put some L-shaped brackets on there to hold them in place. Um, I, my office feels a little cluttered these days because I've been working from home and I wanted to make sure that my continued stay at home for working is going to be more comfortable and less claustrophobic, let's say. It's a little bit flimsy but it was only $20 and so I'm trying it out. I've already gotten a couple of them put together um, and I will show them to you later after I get this one completed as well. And since this one, it's not the best of quality, you get what you pay for basically, and I wanted to make sure that I have a sturdy bookcase to put some of my old school books on, the really heavy ones, you know. And so I'm going to reinforce the shelves with metal brackets. Let's get started. I'm trying to make sure that I don't cut the board itself so it doesn't have any defections in it. So I'm trying to get the very edge of it. So this is the manual. And that's what it's going to look like whenever it's completed. But I've already put together two of them, so I kind of feel like I know what I'm doing. So I'm going to empty the box first and get rid of it because it's kind of a nuisance. See, I dropped the box, taking it out to the car. Oops. I have a little box. I put all these things in so they don't roll away. Okay, taking the gloves off now. And then I'll be using these little guys. And I am not really sure what this is called, but and I'll be needing a little turn screw locking mechanism, something or another. So the end of this one has three little holes in it. And I put this in the middle. And screw it in. And the other two holes get one of these pegs. holes on one side and when I put them together with this board I need to make sure that I'm matching up the holes on both of them on the same side and also this one has a hole for this locking mechanism so I drop that in there and I push these two together and I use a flat head screwdriver. Okay. So this one is done. You have to be careful when you're doing this because it, these things can break very easily if you put pressure on it in the wrong direction. So for the next part, I'll be using these little guys, so they will be attaching at the top here, putting these two guys together and at the top and the bottom. I think I put these in these because it'll be easier to push them down. And 
And the reason why I'm putting pressure on the table in the corner here is because that is where the leg is on the table and this thing is kind of flimsy too. So I don't want to push too hard in the middle. Now, when I'm putting these long ones together with the short ones, I have to make sure that I pay attention to the locking mechanism because you want to make sure that when you add a piece together, it goes on the same side. And that can be tricky because there's two of them that have holes on the left side and there's two of them that have holes on the right side. So you have to make sure that you get the right sides. Again, I'm gonna put pressure on it. It's a very controlled pressure, though you don't want to do anything crazy. For the next part, I'm going to be putting on the shelves to one of those and for that I use these nuts and with it it's kind of like a what are those things called I'm gonna start with the bad one the one I've screwed up when I dropped it in the parking lot I'm gonna make sure this one goes on the bottom so you don't notice it as much this one where the middle part goes all the way to the end this is the top and the bottom has a little H so with these little locking mechanisms to the inside I will attach this shelf to the bottom, like so. all attached I'm going to put this on the ground and tighten all the screws that I may not have tightened before and then I'm gonna get rid of the table because I won't be needing that again Let's see. and when I put this on the ground I am going to put it upside down because I'll be putting the metal brackets on here to give it a little bit of extra support So these two back pieces still need to go on, but I may have to wait until tomorrow for that. It might be too late to do it tonight. I have neighbors who might complain since it's after 10 o'clock, I think. Let's see. Ooh, yeah, 12.45. Here are the little L brackets. And 
and I'm using half an inch screws. There it goes. Alrighty. I'm going to get really close so I can tell you what I'm doing. So, the actual screw for these are right in the middle. So, what I want to do is use this little L bracket on the inside. Just like that. I'm going to mark it with the colored pencil. And that way I can see where I will be drilling a hole. So I am not really sure, I'm not sure how much this is actually going to help because this board, even if you put something really heavy in the middle of it, it's still gonna break. So if you're gonna have something really heavy, I'd put it on the outer edges instead of the middle. Okay, it is after midnight. It's almost one o'clock in the morning, so I'm going to continue this video tomorrow. Okay, now the next step is to take a drill and drill holes in this. I've already marked it. I did that last night before. So I'm going to go ahead and move these metal brackets out of the way and drill in the center of the holes that I've made. And since the screws are only half an inch, don't need to put it in too far. So with this drill, this top part is kind of heavy and the battery's not as well. So it's kind of prone to tipping over and falling. So if I were you, I would set it down like this instead of face up unless you are really sure you're not going to bump into it because earlier, or actually it was last night, this fell off of a table and the drill bit broke. So I had to go buy new ones today. These brackets will help with the stability of this as well as the strength of the actual shelf. It might just be a little bit of extra strength that it has. 33 pound weight for each shelf. So Putting these L brackets on might give it a little extra, but I'm not quite sure how much. Okay, so as you can see, well, possibly not, I have the screws in them, in the L brackets now, and now what I need to do is put the back onto it, so I have to lay it flat on the ground with the back, which is that stripe across, that's the back side. So these things, they go with the dark side down to the back of it. One goes over the very bottom open square and the other one goes at the top. I think that's supposed to be for stability as well. So I'll point the camera down so you can see it. 
gonna dump these in the middle. So first they want you to line it up properly and nail each corner in. Okay, this side right here is the top side. So on this one they want me to have, I think it's three at the top and two at the bottom. It might be worth it to have some kind of a back brace while you're doing this. Just, you know, just saying. And then along the sides, they want a total of five in there. So I'm going to put one in the center and two on either side. That'll give it all five of them across the side of it. step that you have to do is attach this to the wall. This will prevent this from falling over if it gets too heavy. So I'm going to do the same thing as I did with the brackets underneath here. I'm going to use a marker to mark it, the spot, then drill the holes. shelf was all put together. It's attached to the wall. It's got some support underneath here to make sure that the shelves are a little bit sturdier. So I hope you enjoyed my video today. And I'll be making some more random videos some other time, I'm sure. But thank you. Bye-bye. This is the finished product. I bought three of them. I would have bought four to put one in the middle there, but there's an outlet there that I did not want to cover up. <clears throat> so I am getting some shelves to put in between those as soon as I can find some of the right size. Sorry I can't get a full shot of this and I can't really back up. This is a very small room. But I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, you know what to do. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.